acid base disorder it may be due to respiratory or metabolic so respiratory acidosis and respiratory alkalosis metabolic acidosis and metabolic alkalosis now the respiratory are due to disturbance in the carbon dioxide and it is due to disturbance in hco3 now let's talk about the normal values the normal value for ph is 7.35 to 7.45 so this three now the first uh, partial pressure of carbon dioxide so 35 to 45 hco3 value is 22 to 26 uh, if the pH value is get less than 7.35 that will call acidosis and if it is more than 7.45 that will call alkalosis. Now partial pressure of carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide is going to form more proton and so it is acid. If pCO2 value is less than 35 that is that will be for alkalosis or, and if it is more than 45 that will be for acid or acidosis. HCO3 is actually a base. So, if HCO3 value is less than 22, that will be called that will be called acidosis, and if it is more than 26, that is called base. From the above discussion, now it's clear that pH is directly proportional to HCO3 and inversely proportional to partial pressure of carbon dioxide. So it's mean that if there is increase in pH, there will be decrease in partial pressure of carbon dioxide. They both of these are opposite to each other. In HCO3 is directly proportional so go in same direction and the cause will be metabolic. In pH and uh, PCO2 is inversely proportional so go in opposite direction and the cause will be respiratory. For the mnemonic, the mnemonic here is for respiratory acidosis write the same word acidosis but for respiratory alkalosis make this K I can write this K like H so for respiratory alkalosis I will say respiratory alhalosis. For respiratory acidosis, this A is for airway obstruction. This A is can also for acute lung disease. This A is for adult respiratory distress syndrome, which we can say ARDS. A is also for anesthetic and A is also for asthma. Here we are saying that acute lung disease, A is for acute lung disease and C is for chronic lung disease. From this airway obstruction, we see this obstruction O word here. So it will be for COPD and here we can also say COPD, COPD, so COPD is actually is going to cause respiratory acidosis. The COPD is consisting of asthma, empyzema and chronic bronchitis. Now this O can also be for hypoventilations and hypoventilating means we are not, we are not taking out the carbon dioxide outside from the body. And the inside the body carbon dioxide will increase which means the uh, proton will be increased and so the pH will decrease. Carbon dioxide and pH they go in opposite direction. If they go in opposite direction the problem is respiratory. Now from this O hypoventilation and from this O we can also say opiates. Now acidosis can also be pronounced like acidosis. Acidosis so sedative. Sedative medications barbiturates, benzodiazepines are which can uh, these drugs are going to uh, depress our medullary respiratory center so respiratory rate will be decreased and if the respiratory rate decreases inside we cannot take out the carbon dioxide from the body so carbon dioxide value inside the body is increased and carbon dioxide is acid so it will lead to acidosis now muscle weakness if we are taking out carbon dioxide from the body and for which we need the muscles if the muscle is weak, we cannot take out the uh, enough carbon dioxide from the body. So inside the body, carbon dioxide will increase, which will lead to acidosis. So muscle weakness like gulin berry syndrome, multiple sclerosis, folio, amylotropic lateral sclerosis. Now for respiratory alkalosis, the respiratory rate is very high and you are taking too much carbon dioxide outside from the body and so inside carbon dioxide value in the body is decreased which will lead to decrease in proton and so the pH will high. Now from this H as I say I will pronounce it like alhalosis I will make this K like H so alkalosis. So hysteria which is psychogenic high altitude if you go to high altitude and hyperventilations if you go to high altitude high H I high so hyperventilation there will be hyperventilation 
and from this E we can also say embolism, pulmonary embolism or pulmonary edema. From this E we can also say early salicyclate poisoning cause respiratory alkalosis and pneumonia also cause respiratory alkalosis. For acute respiratory acidosis and respiratory alkalosis we, are, we, we don't have uh, compensation but for, but for chronic respiratory acidosis and respiratory, uh, respiratory alkalosis we are having renal compensation. In chronic renal acidosis which means that in our body acids, uh, acids are more so we need to absorb the base and the base is HCO3. There will be increase in absorption of HCO3 from the proximal convoluted tubule and collecting duct and that will lead the pH will get normal. Now in chronic respiratory alkalosis which means we are having more base in our body and so we need we, we don't need to absorb the base from the kidney so there will be decrease in absorption of HCO3 in the kidney. Find answer you see the pH here is the pH is decreasing if we see the carbon dioxide normal value is 3, 3 uh, 35 to 45 so the PCO2 is now high PCO2 is high and H, H HCO3 is normal like it was from uh, 22 to 26. Both of these goes in opposite direction. When the pH is decreasing and carbon dioxide is increasing, so it means we are pro we are having the problem in the respiratory problem. But if you see the carbon dioxide is increasing in the body and carbon dioxide is acid and pH is decreased, so it is respiratory acidosis. Asthmatic patient ABG show pH 7.32. Carbon CO2 is 48 and HCO3 is 25. Here we see the pH is going to decrease now because it is less than 7.35 so the pH is decreasing. Carbon dioxide is more than 45 so carbon dioxide value increase. Both of these goes in opposite direction now the problem is due to respiratory. But if we see here the carbon dioxide is increasing and pH is decreasing so it is mean and the HCO3 is normal it is the it is respiratory acidosis and here which of the following cause respiratory acidosis COPD uremia high altitude so it is the answer is COPD as we know in chronic respiratory acidosis what is normal so as we know in the chronic respiratory acidosis there will be renal compensation by increasing the absorption of bicarbonate uh, in the kidney and because of this the pH will get normal so the answer here is C pH of the plasma Respiratory alkalosis is due to narcotic analgesic, Goulin-Berry syndrome, pulmonary edema and ARDS. The answer is pulmonary edema.